Okay, hey y'all. I'm sitting here with a good friend of mine, Jane Foster. Hi guys. And Jane um, has done so many wonderful things for the state of Mississippi. And when I thought about putting this vlog together, this video live, she was one of the first persons I had lunch with. And I said, this is what I think I'm gonna do. Give me your thoughts on it, and she did, because I really respect her, especially in the community that we're in. She gives back, she loves, she's Southern, and she gives back, she loves everything. I'm about to kick off football, needless to say, my football party is August the 30th. It's the annual um, football kickoff party. We're having it August the 30th at Pelican with Acoustic Crossroad. And she was the one I said, I've got to get you in first because we got some things that we're going to announce at the end. Um, because she is all things football, Southern, fashion. And I don't know if you know anything about the zebra tent at Ole Miss, but Ole Miss puts on a big show with the zebra tent. And it's been um, all over the South. It's been on ESPN, it was on game day, it's been in magazines. So as part of us kicking the football season off, cause she's getting ready too. I said, Jane, let's sit down and talk about it and kick it off. She said, sure. So Jane, tell us a little bit about how the zebra tent came about. Well, I'm actually grew up in Starkville and went to Mississippi State. So really, I'm a bulldog in all, <laughs> in all ways to look at it. But my husband was an avid Ole Miss man. And when we played each other, when I went to Mississippi State, we played in Jackson. That's how old I am. I'm, I'm aging myself here. <laughs> but I'd never been to the campus at Ole Miss before. So he took me to my first ball game at Ole Miss. And I truly loved the campus. I just fell in love with it. And there's nothing like the Grove. I mean, it's just not. It is the most fabulous place. And when I looked around at the way these ladies entertained, I knew this was something I liked to do. I and mean, my husband, when football season starts, my entertaining was just shut down because he's all about <laughs> the sports and we weren't going to have time to do any of that. So this is kind of a way I could entertain and he'd go to the ball game all at the same time. <laughs> but over the years, we have gotten to know so many of the coaches and the players that I have truly become an Ole Miss fan, for sure. Well, that's awesome. Of course, she's always going to believe Miss believe Mississippi State blood oh, too. Yeah, that's my hometown. I love just it. Just like with her, you know, years ago, like she said, we're telling we're aging ourselves. But years ago, when we went to the ball game, we popped up a tent behind us and we had Kentucky Fried Chicken and <laughs> a bucket of beer. I mean, you know, that's what we had. It was nothing as elaborate as it was. And I started tailgating. I lived in Alabama for 17 years, and uh, my ex-husband is a huge Auburn fan. He actually went to school there, and he actually. Um, taught, you know, he, he tutored the football players. So same thing, same story with her. And I fell in love with that. And we went every weekend that there was a home game, we would camp out, we'd be there from Wednesday till Sunday. And it was our life and it was so much fun. And as you've watched every, the, the tailgating of the football evolve, you know, everybody sees what we're doing and they're doing it too, which I think is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love to do something that everybody else is doing that's working. I think it's great, especially in the South. So. What, when did you realize that the zebra tent was something really special? And if you've never seen the zebra tent, I'm gonna put a link on after we after we pop off of here. I actually Googled it, it popped right up number one. So just, just Google it, it's amazing. Um, but tell us when you, you realized it was, a, it was very special. Well, it, it really evolved. And I think even from the first season, people from other teams would come and go, oh, I've never seen anything like this with the chair covers and the, the curtains. And we would meet people and we would make these relationships. And so a couple of years of that, people still wanted to take pictures and things, but then media started to come and to the point where we would have to start scheduling appointments because they'd all show up at one time and want to do it right then. And, so now they schedule appointments with me and all. Oh, the wow. biggest breakthrough was um, game day. Sam Ponder came in and said, can I do an interview with you in here? And I said, oh yeah, sure. And on national TV, she said, so who can come to this tent? I mean, can anybody come to this tent? And I said, well, sure, we welcome everybody. And at the next fall game, we had 700 and something guests. No way. It changed the whole course of what we were doing and put us on a, a platform where you've got to do something with that platform. You know, I believe that when something like that happens, you need to take full advantage of it to help raise money for that, to do, just to do and give back and to just show America that the South can set the bar with something. 
You know, I mean, we don't have to be on the bottom of everything. We can set the bar, and I think we do with the tailgating. So. You have set the bar with that tailgating, and I love that she just said, I love giving back. As y'all know, I've been involved in charities for years and years, especially here in uh, Mississippi for the ni last nine years. And in 2012, I contacted Jane, and I said, hey, listen, I, I really would love for you to do something with Susan G. Komen, Central Mississippi, something, you know, breast cancer, something like that, pink the tent up. She goes, as a matter of fact, we've got that in plan. That would be great. And as we're thinking this again, I said, you know, I would love to be there when you have the pink, what do you call it? It's, pink, well, it's, zebra our, pink, it's our pink game. It's your pink and game. And so the whole zebra tent goes pink. Even our people that are on, in our group, we all wear pink. The whole, de every decoration is pink. It is totally dedicated to the women, the survivors, and the ones that didn't survive for breast cancer. So it's amazing, and I love that. And I asked her, I said, when is that game? And she said, it's October the 6th. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, pencil me in. I'm coming up there. We're going to do a vlog from there because I really want to, I really want to bring Susan G. Komen in again this year. And then uh, Cindy Tauscher says, you do know that's the Mississippi State-Auburn game. <laughs> and I said, Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I can watch the game on TV, so I'll be up there October 6th. I'm excited about that. Um, I can't wait to see everybody pink it up. And I have my one of my first cousins had breast cancer. She battled it and she beat it. Thank God every day. I have a friend right now. He's a, he's a guy. Um, I, actually, I met Paul Ott. He was the first man I'd ever met with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And Paul has recently passed in the last year, and I absolutely loved him. He helped me so much with Susan G. Komen. But I have another friend who's battling it right now. This is his second bout, Kyle Morris. I love him to death. I know Kyle. Yeah, he's, he's an amazing guy. He gives back to the community, too. So when we're doing this, I was just thinking, who does this impact? Why do we do what we do? And you just said it. We use it as a platform not only to showcase the South, which is what we do, right. but also to show the South that we give back. We're all about charity. We have two members in our tent that um, are breast cancer survivors. Oh wow! So it's a you know it's a real. I get a little choked up because they're two steel magnolia women <laughs> that exactly. have helped me through this and made the tent what it is today. So it's a real special time. Mm -hmm. That day is kind of somber for us, you know, right. because these two women are so so dear to our personal hearts. Right. And you're celebrating you're celebrating their life. Mm -hmm. And 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 we, we do that either whether like I said, whether you live through it or whether it beats you, just like Paul Ott, we still right. celebrate his life. So Thank you for talking about the tailgating with me. I'm so excited about that. October 6th, I will be up there. I'm going to segue into something that I absolutely love about Jane. Um, Jane does a blog. And why I even, you know, was like, what is this? It's called Southern Shine. And if that's not a Southern name, I don't know what it is. And it got started because she's fashionable. Listen, when she puts on an event, I don't care if it's just a, a backyard dinner with her husband, and she posts those photos, you know that she's put some effort into making her husband feel special, just like she does with everything else. So, Jane, tell us a little bit how you got started with the Southern Shine. I have to know. Well, the Southern Shine comes from the fact that I'm 52 years old, and my kids are all gone, and I just feel like as we age and we get to that point where it's emptiness, it's our time to shine. We have a little extra time. It's, it's the time to go the extra mile. Whereas we used to be so busy and all, now we have time to do those special dinners with our husband. Oh, that's awesome. Or do a big tailgate. Or just, it's, it's, it's not a time where you need to quit worrying about what you look like. I don't want you to worry about it, but still, you know, be cute. We can still be cute. We don't have to blend in. No, but there is no, nothing in the Bible that says <laughs> when you get 50 years old, you got to blend in. That's right. There's not. So it's time for us to shine. And I just try to help people find ways to do that and shop. I do a lot of stores around Mississippi. I'm on the Like to Know It app. It's a free app. You can download it. So a lot of the things that I do that might be from Target or Old Navy or Dillard's or those type of stores, you can actually shop from the app from my picture. Oh, wow. So, um, but I represent a lot of the Mississippi boutiques, and I'm actually having an event at my house 
on Sunday with seven different boutiques and then a lot of the followers are coming. So anybody that knows me or you or one of my friends is welcome to come and we'll get them all the information if they just let us know. That would be great. So. That's going to be a lot of fun. I like to showcase people who, just like she just said, you, you find an idea and you run with it, just like the zebra tent. It's gotten bigger than you ever imagined, I'm oh, yeah. sure. Oh, for sure. I'm sure. Yes. And let me just say, I've tailgated at LSU. I've tailgated in every single state. Every single state I've, I've went to a tailgate. That's and awesome. in the South, we do it right. Yeah, we I, Kentucky bar. was awesome. LSU, you know, you hear all kinds of things about LSU fans. They welcomed me. They said, come have some gumbo, have beer, even after they beat the living mess out of us. They were still cordial, yeah. the ones that I was around. Mm -hmm. So just remember, our heart is in the state of Mississippi and our ball games and, and also, like I said, Auburn. But when you're looking at your tailgate, go to her blog. She has a, a website called southernshine2017.com. You can get tailgate, tailgate ideas. You can get ideas about all kinds of things, not just fashion. And that's what I love. So if you want to put on a spread and you're trying to figure out how, this is your woman. Yeah. She knows how to do it. So we look forward to the football season. My oh, yeah. Cowboys got beat last night, but it was okay because Dick Mullins, uh, the third string quarterback who's dear to my heart, he actually threw the last winning uh, touchdown in the oh. last 20 seconds and, and beat my Cowboys. But like I said, since it was Nick, I love you. It's okay. Thank you all for joining us today. All the information that we talked about will be on the description. Go to, the, go to the website, look her page up, look at the zebra tent. On October 6th, we'll be, we'll be doing some more vlogs, just a few minute vlogs to tell what we're gonna actually be doing. Um, I don't even know yet, it's still, in, you know, it's still in the works. But I just wanna say thank you to our sponsor who sponsored this. I love talking football fashion and music. Like I said, my football kickoff party is August the 30th at Pelican, starts at six o'clock. Cushy Crossroads is going to play. We will have a um, charity that we're going to be giving something to that's in the works. That'll be announced within the next three weeks. Um, I wish I could announce it right now, but I haven't got I haven't got 100% yet on what I want to do. So I just want to thank Burgers and Blues on County Line Road in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Their phone number is 601-899-0038. If you know Stephen, Stephen is like um, Jane here. He's going to put on a show. He, he will come and cater your ball games. He'll come all over the state of Mississippi. He's got a new catering system. Y'all check out his prices. They're amazing. The barbecue and the burgers are delicious. I've actually been to one of his catering events out at um, Lake Caroline several years ago and it's impressive. It is so impressive. If you don't want to do the cooking yourself and you want some good barbecue and, and hamburgers, Call Stephen at Burgers and Blues. Also, Kim Goodson Crylight Realty. She's at 1069 Highway 51 Madison, 601-853-3995. Now, y'all know I have a lot of realtor friends, and I, lo I love each and every one of y'all. I do. But I bought my first house from Kim, and she picked me up in her Corvette, and she had a glass of wine. So that set the standard for me as how I'm going to go look at houses. She's like, we're going to get you relaxed a little bit. And I said, okay, getting in the car and getting out of the car wasn't fun, but it's the experience she gives you. She truly, truly wants to find your dream home. So if you're looking for a good realtor in the, in the Mississippi area, call Kim. Calistoga uh, Wine and Spirits with Sean uh, Summers. If y'all haven't been in there, if you're ever just having a down day, pop in there and talk to Sean. He will lift you up. You never know. You walk in there and he's barefooted. He's carrying <laughs> stuff to the car. I mean, because he is truly customer service. He's at Highland Colony Parkway in Ridgeland, 601-853-8978. Get all of your spirits and take with you. He will give you a discount. He Just tell him you want the city cop discount and he'll give it to you. <laughs> but he can order anything or get anything. And if you don't drink, his mixtures are great too. And then the Mississippi Party Bus. I have fallen in love with Rachel and this crew. I love this bus. It fits 40 people and the rates are amazing. The number is 601-988-4554. You'll be seeing more of this party bus over the next two weeks because she is actually going to, um, she's hosting our tour the day of the Heatherland tour. So she's going to be picking us up. You'll be seeing a lot on that. So thank you so much to our sponsors for this vlog. Thank you for Jane talking about all things Enjoy. South and football. Remember, Amp your football tailgate up. <laughs> we want people in the South to the show ball. the Northerners and everybody else in the country that, hey, did y'all see that? You've got to see that. So keep in mind football, fashion, and fun, yet comfortable. So you can be cute in your clothes That's and right. you can have your tennis shoes on, which is what for I do. Sure. So thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you around the town.